Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the serpentine belt tensioner. Uh, if you have problems with your belt squeaking, a lot of times it can be because the tensioner is not providing enough tension and it's letting the belt slip. Um, that also can be due to a bad belt. In this video, we do remove the serpentine belt totally. You don't have to do that, but usually it's uh, pretty good practice if you're replacing the tensioner. The belt probably needs to be replaced as well. Uh, jack and jack stands, you could probably do this without jacking the car up, but it's a lot easier to access it um, if you take the wheel off. Uh, then you'll need a new tensioner and belt from 1A Auto. Uh, 10, 13, and 15 millimeter wrenches. Uh, I mean, a socket with a ratchet and extension and a pry bar. Okay, the first thing you're going to want uh, before you do this uh, repair is a belt diagram, and we have a nice one made up for you right here. Uh, this should give you a pretty good representation of how the belt is routed. Um, starting at the top left, that's the alternator. Then going to the right, that's an idler pulley to the power steering pump, then down to the AC compressor, then over to the crankshaft, then to the tensioner pulley, then to the water pump, another idler pulley, and up to the alternator. The lower front and right front wheel area, there's ten, uh, seven 10 millimeter bolts that hold the splash pan in place. Uh, in this case, on our car, there's only four, but you can remove all of them. And actually what we find is we take off one and the pan kind of bends down and we tried to remove the other ones but the clips in behind were so rusted that we decided we didn't want to break all of them so we just kind of left it that way and just kind of let the pan, pan or the splash pan hang down out of the way. I've got a 13 millimeter socket on the end of my ratchet and I'm going to put it on the bolt that goes through the pulley on the tensioner pulley. And I'm going to turn it clockwise to remove the pressure on the belt and then slide the belt off the crank and the rest of the pulleys. Okay, now the rest of the way it's kind of a matter of just pulling it down, twisting it a little bit to get it off some of the pulleys, and you could also pull it off from the top as well. The tensioner has three bolts that hold it in, three 10 millimeter bolts, uh, but one of them is very close to this power steering line and uh, as opposed to taking the power steering pump off, um, we're just going to give it a gentle nudge to get our 10 millimeter socket in the way. Just going to use a pry bar and just give it a little bit of a... week. Check now. Alright, you can see that I tweaked it just enough to get the socket on there. And I'm just going to fast forward. Um, we can't really see what we're doing, but we're just using a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and removing the three bolts that hold the tensioner in place. Okay, it does take an awful lot. The repair itself isn't that difficult, but just getting your hands in there and the angles um, just takes a little while to get those bolts out.
Get the old part and the new part from 1A Auto. The mounting holes are going to be in the same spot. It should go right back in. In order to do that, going in sideways, up above the AC compressor, and then turning it. Once it gets up there, seems to be the best way to do it. And then match up your holes. And we'll speed it up here again. Uh, Don just puts all three bolts in place, gets them started first, and then goes at it with the ratchet, socket and ratchet. Um, again, uh, just, the, just the angles of getting in there are difficult, makes it so you can only turn the ratchet about an eighth of a turn at a time, which just makes it take a little while. Uh, and one other note, we did disconnect the AC um, compressor. We didn't show that part. We just disconnected it. Uh, that makes it easier to get the uh, new and it makes it easier to get the tensioner out and back in. Not really going to be able to see me doing the belt, but uh, sneak it back in and follow the diagram for routing it. Okay, so that first step that uh, Don just did, he just kind of got the belt uh, down, um, kind of down below the AC and the crank pulley preliminarily. Okay, and what Don just did there was uh, there's just a, some clearance issues getting by the water pump and those tensioner pulleys, so he just kind of twisted it to the side and got it over on its way to the alternator. So the top part is pretty much done. It's around the alternator, underneath the idler, and over the power steering. So now I want to get this belt on the other side of this pulley, the ribbed pulley here. So I'm going to twist it and try not to have it fall off the alternator pulley, which is right above it. All right, good. Okay, now what we've done here is we've pulled a loop across and you can see I'm helping him out a little bit just uh, holding the belt off of the AC pulley so you can pull the loop from that tensioner on the back side of the motor towards the front and put it on to uh, the tensioner um, in the front of the engine. Okay, in order to get the wrench in there, it's better to have the pulley off of the crank rather than the AC pulley. So he just transfers it, um, takes it off the crank so he has enough uh, room to get it on. I'm using a 15 millimeter here, which is what the new one came with. And turning it clockwise, I have, it. I have to release the tension on the bearing. And I gotta make sure too that all my belts are on the pulleys because if they're off a little bit, it's not going to give me the room I need. So everything is on except for the crank pulley. And as I do this, it's going to give me more room. I'm going to hold it tight. And you can see Don, he's working the wrench um, with the right hand. And then using his left hand, push the uh, belt up onto the crank pulley. Make sure they're all on. All right, make sure all of them are on and the belt's lined up with the teeth on your pulleys. You can plug your 
AC back in. If you took that off to gain more flexibility getting in there. And then and I'm just gonna give it one more look up top, like below. I wanna make sure that the uh, tooth belt is seated correctly on the power steering, alternator, uh, water pump, and below this idler pulley. And once you've done that, just uh, put the splash pan back up and bolt it back in place. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.